Oye, excuse me. Hello. How you doing? Listen, I'm trying. You have a car right here. I'm trying to get a ride to MRPD. So I can do I application. I can take you. No problem. Ay, mi madre. Thank you so much. You're so kind. Okay. What's your name? My name's Leah. Your name is Leah? Yes, sir. Nice to meet you, Leah. How you doing? Pretty good. How's your, uh, what's your name? Uh, they call me Mr. Worldwide. I said it. You sorry. Because I'm not worldwide. Because you wear white? But you're wearing white. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, Mr. White. Mr. Worldwide. 305. Oh, okay. I said it, Mr. Worldwide. I, it must be the, the, the language barrier. I'm sorry. It's okay. We don't speak That's English too good, you know? That's okay. Oh, hey, is this your car right here? Yeah. I said it. This is fire. This is good. Yeah. Very nice car. How much was okay. this? Um, it's actually not too bad. 6,500 or something like that. Okay, dale. Vamos para, vamos para la misma PD. Para ponerme una aplicación, ya tú sabes. Voy a, hacer, voy a coger mi, mi trabajo para atrás. Yeah, no, I completely understand you. Uh, 100%. I will get you right to MRPD. Listen, listen. Worry. I used to be police officer. Uh, I'm just trying to get my, my job back. Because it's, it's been a long time. Yeah. So, so, you know, I'm going to go see if I could get application. Of course. Because I don't... You know, it's a, application is free, right? No, the 2500. I said it! Como que 2500? Como que 2500? Are you crazy? Mm -hmm. Are you. No, no, pero That's better. How much they are. One second. But I used to be police officer. How are they gonna charge me? A lot of people used to be police officers. They're still 2500. Them too. But how I get 2500, man? Uh. Yo tengo 277 dollars. Yo no tengo ni pinga. Maybe become a tow truck driver. A hey, tow truck a driver. Day. How I use it. Jesus, Jesus Christ, por favor, ayúdame. Ay, mi madre. I mean, they want people that are well versed, you know, in the city. Know, you know, know people. You know, they want they want people that are aware of how things are going nowadays. You know. They want people that are well versed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amazing. If you tell them like, they're like, oh yeah, you know, uh, they they ask you a question like, oh, have you been doing around the city? Like, have you met very many people? Have you been having a good, you know, the time when hey, you usually do? Hey, you gotta smoke. You know, like, where do you work? ¿Qué pasa con mi pinga? What you uh, want? No, I don't have any cigarettes. You got any cigarettes? No. I, I left it. mine in my other Levi's. Who's no, this? No, my friend. Who's this? Well, man. Mm -hmm. The name's Dylan. Dylan oh. Sawyer. Sawyer, are you uh, related to Jordan Sawyer, the dispatcher? I have no relation to that man. He's no kin of mine. Oh, she's a woman. I have no relation to that oh. woman. She's no kin of mine. Okay. 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 Thank you so much for well, the right. I appreciate yeah, the you. Over there. Take care, sir. Thank you so much. Oh, okay, I don't have any cigarettes. Oye, I need police officer to the front deck. Por favor, I want to do application. Application, mi amigo. Let me chill out. Let me chill out before we get fired, before we even get hired. We better get fired before we even get hired. <laughs> oh no, but thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Wait, they, what's... Hold on. Oye, mi oh. amigo. ¿Qué está pasando, mi amigo? Listen, I'm looking for job application. I used to, I don't know what happened, man. What happened to my job? Why can't I know something? Uh, you got laid off. I said it, como que lay off. They deport me to Cuba. I come back now. What you mean lay off? I need my job back, my friend. What happened to Tortilla? Where's Tortilla? Where's Mr. Bong? Uh, Donde está mi gente? Tortilla? I said it. SDSO. Sí, I used to be SDSO. Where my people at? Okay. Tortilla? I don't know who that is. Is it Mr. Bone? Yes, Tortilla. He was the head of the SDSO, bro. Tortilla. Sí, como tú no conoces Tortilla. Eres un come mierda. You said Mr. Bone, right? Mr. Bone, I said it. Yes, that's my friend. Yeah, Mr. Bones works here, yes. Okay, so how, what happened to, who laid me off? Uh, the state. They laid everyone off. I said it, but what you mean the state let, why, why they laid me off? Uh, they didn't have any money because of the war or something. There was a something war. Something about a rocket ship. There was a rocket ship or something. Ay, Jesus Christ. 
Ay, mi madre. I was yeah. in Cuba, yeah. man. I wouldn't try to explain the story to me, but I wasn't listening. Listen, don't tell nobody, man. Pero when I was police officer, I was doing that shit without a green card. So the Cuban government, they came back, they deported me. But this time I came back around and I have a green card now. So I can get my job back. You know, I'd be fine now. Uh, how much money do you have? How much money, why? Yeah. Uh, my friend, yo tengo 277 dólares. 277. 277 dollars? Sí, that's why I come to be police officer. I need to earn some money, my friend. How can I do it without a job? Okay, well, the application costs $2,500. What? ¿Cómo que la how the application, how are you going to lay me off and then come back and tell me, oye, we know we laid you off, pero if you want to reapply, you got to pay us. Pero que pinga es eso, mi amigo, que pinga es eso, hacer, que es eso. Why, why $2,500? Uh, that was just the number that was decided. Bueno, ¿y cómo, cómo pinga yo coger? How am I going to get $2,500? If I had no job. Uh, here, let me, let me get someone. We're going to ask you some questions and then I might just okay. pay for you. So Ay, mi madre. Ay, mi madre, please, my friend. I, yes, thank you. Oye, mi gente. Any police officer, remember inside. Mi gente. Así es, como me pinga. Mr. Bond, where you at? Then say, oh, hey, then chasty. Ay, mi madre, is that then chasty? Ay, mi madre, that then chasty, bro. Oh, hey, somebody got then then chasty, that's my brother. Oh, hey, was that then yeah. chasty inside the room? Uh, no, that's Denzel chasty. Then say chasty. Hold wrong. Pero yo conozco. Twin. That's his twin brother. What happened to then chasty? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. He never explained. Ay, mi madre, his twin brother. He never told me he had a brother. Yeah. Okay, bueno, listen. Eh, do I have to go? Oh, you said you had a question for me, or what happened? Yeah, I want to get cornered out here, and I want him to ask you some questions. But my, my first question is, what shift are you? Eh, what shift is this? It's a shift one. I go do... Wait, what does she before? So, uh, four hours before and four hours after right now. It's shift one. Okay, chief one. It's shift one? Yes. Well, okay. I'm not chief nothing right now because I don't have a job, but when I was police, I was chief one. All right, yeah. Uh, let me get Cornwood. I want him to meet you. And then okay. I want him to do a vibe Cornwood, check. And creo. if he likes you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Give me a I second. think I, I met Cornwood before, I think. Okay, yeah, yeah, hold on. Muchas gracias. I forgot. I forgotten what cops. I I forgotten what cops I know from 3.0 and which ones I don't. I'm pretty sure I knew Cornwood from 3.0. You going to the gay bar? I said it. I'm okay. I'm going to gay bar. What you mean? What you mean? I'm here to put in a PD application. Okay, so and I'm here. Hello. Picadillo, mi amigo, Mr. Worldwide. Este, ¿Cómo está, Mr. Cornwood? Uh, yeah. Howdy. Como, como esta. You used to work here back in your day, apparently. I said, hey, you, you don't remember me, man. SDSO, I was with Tortilla. You don't remember Tortilla. That was the, what happened to Tortilla, bro. I, and Mr. Bones, you remember Mr. Bones, the SDSO. I speak Hell Spanish. Man. Do you need me to translate? I said, hey, am I speaking English right now? He said he's from the SDSO. Come call yeah, the Tortilla. Yeah. I'm speaking English right now. What you saying, He's bro? You're speaking English right now. What are you saying right now? Well, no, I'm, I, I understand. I understand what he's saying. He's, you know, I, I understand Mexican. Um, okay. I said it. Mexican. It's Spanish. Oh, oh, yeah. Este, todo mundo aquí son unos tremendos come pingas. Yeah, no, exactly. I completely agree. Um, okay, Godito. So, ¿qué está pasando? Well, he, well he, so here's the thing. Uh, one, I am... Uh, I wasn't really around SDSO time. I came back and because uh, I was, uh, oh, you know what? We probably did cross paths at some point. Do you remember you, my friend? Because I, I, think... I was only yes. there for like, a, I was only around for like a month. Yes. At PBSO, SDSO, and you know, Fred and Teretti were well, arguing about, okay, well, which square I should go. And I said, to hell with yeah. both of y'all. I'm staying in the BCSO by myself. So 
I used to be a I was I used to be LSPD with a. He before, used to be the LSPD before a, uh -huh. I was in the LSPD before when Bass was chief was. of police. Bass was the chief of police. And understand where Bass at? Is where's Bass chief? at? Oh, uh, where's ba Bass? Is uh, Bass is dead. What? Yeah. Did you say he dead, bro? Yeah. Ay, mi madre, a Jesucristo, are you gonna? How he died? Uh, I don't know. I think he like. I I, I wasn't around. This I said it. That was my ball brother, man. We, me and him, we used to get yeah, confused that a lot. Was his ball brother. They used yeah. to think I was bad sometime, man. I know how he died. Yeah. Hi, Jesus. Okay. I think he like jumped on a grenade or some shit, and I think like Rami like pissed on his grave. I I punched the shit out of Rami when he said that. Pissed me the hell off. Wait, Rami? You say Rami killed him? Oh, who killed him? I think I think he pissed on his grave. I don't know who killed oh, him. Oh, Rami pissed while he dying. Yeah, something like that. Ay, mi madre. Okay. Well, let me introduce myself now that this fella's done ran his mouth for five straight minutes. Oi, the name Sawyer. Sawyer. Dylan okay. Sawyer. All right, Dylan, I'm from Brokeback, Montana. Came out here to put my PD application in. Okay. I'm a country boy. I'm a simple man. I like riding my horse, making love to my wife. Oh. Who's his cousin? Don't forget that part. It's his cousin. My wife, my first wife was my cousin. Well, you gotta start. But somewhere. my second wife was not. That's your sister. Okay. No, it's not. It's my second cousin. Oh well, at that, I mean, at that point, you're not even family, really. I'm a straight man. Uh huh. Well. You want a translation into Spanish? I can translate what he's yeah, saying into Spanish. You, yeah, could you translate that to okay. Mexican for me? So he say that he tiene una mujer Cuban. y es su hermana, okay? Y también dijo que es un tremendo come pinga. Yes, that's what he say. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I don't. You're speaking Cuban. I don't understand. I'm sorry. I'm a piggy Spanish. He's speaking Spanish, but he's from Cuba. What? It's the same language, my friend. Is he from Cuba or Spain? Ay, mi madre, para la pinga, ser gordo de pinga. You are, you are a pinga, Cornwood. No, mi amigo. Okay, how am I? Wait, okay, I'm oh. not, a, I am not, no, I'm not a pinga. Well, there's a lot of history there. Gordito, listen, Gordito is Gordito, different country, listen. different okay. country, same language. Okay, next thing you, yeah, okay, you're, you're going to start telling me English and American is the same. I just, okay, okay, you're right. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Cornwood, I'm sorry. But oh, listen, so anyway, you know, continue. Ten two. <clears throat> I'm doing. I'm trying to do PD application just like this guy right here. Okay. And uh, Mister, uh, what's your name over here? What's your name? Duncan. This is a uh, Duncan. Mister Duncan, uh, he said he uh, has some. You have some question that you want to ask or something like that for PD yeah, application. Yeah. So okay, what is what is y'all's experience? You you were part of the SDS, is that what you said? Yes, I was police officer, my friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, what, what did you do in the SDSL? What did I do? Okay, I patrol Sandy, I arrested people. Uh, you know, I shot some people because they were reaching. Uh, what else did I do? You know, just put bad guy behind jail. Very simple, police officer work. You know, anybody that was doing mm -hmm. crime, jail. A la pinga. Uh-huh. Okay. Here, you do, let's do, do me a favor. Let's go and step inside here. Okay. Is that for the both of us or just him? Both of us. All of us. I like your kit. So very well done. Very contemporary. Does he sound like Osvaldo? Osvaldo is also Cuban. That's why. It's Duncan Gunn. Dun Who's Duncan? Hello, Duncan. So you used to be a cop? Yes. Did Duncan leave? Why'd you stop? Oh, hey, Don Quindona, where you are, my friend? Why did I stop? I didn't. I got deported because, listen, keep it, be, keep it in the room, but I didn't have green card when I was cop. They found out. The Cuban government, they came. They took me back. I come back over here. Now I have green card. Yeah, apparently, I got fucking fired. Yeah, yeah, that's how it goes. Make yeah, I mean, hell, I was, I was gone for a while. I mean, hell, I didn't even know there was a damn... The whole damn government changed and shit. I showed I showed back up and I was like, "Hey, where where the hell's my uniform?" 
Exactly, that's what I was wondering too, bro. Uh huh. Okay, so <clears throat> let's talk a little bit here. Okay. You say so. You say you got experience, right? Can, so you, can you? Uh, I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Can you tell well, me? Well, before uh, you ask me questions, I just need to get a few things from them, and then. Sure. Don't uh, don't worry about the feel. I'll, I'm feeling generous today. I meet a Dunkin' Donut. Thank you so much, my friend. All right. Appreciation, no, you bro. George, no, you it's no, it's a twenty-five hundred dollar no, no, no. My, Duncan, my state Duncan. ID. Yeah, what's up? Are you are you willing to pay their twenty-five hundred dollar application fee? Listen, yeah, Mister Duncan, if you can't pay, it's okay. okay. I go work at the Cine Bon. Phone number. Uh, Little Texas I'd Ranger. probably just go get a job on a ranch or something. Probably got tons of ranches out here. My phone number, 420-735-2506. Shift. I'm not familiar with the shifts. Four hours before and four hours afterwards is the shift one. Hmm. Perfect. Shift one, it is. Shift one, it is. Right, Mr. Worldwide, you? Hey, what you need? You need ID? ID, phone number, shift. Okay, my ID right there. Hey, un segundito. Let me get my business card. Okay, for 22, for one, 89, 38, my friend. And uh, key one. Listen, Mr. Duncan, if you pay this for me, bro. Hey, I pay you back no problem, my friend. You know, it just uh, it's tough time right now. I said it. That's why I'm trying to become police so we can make some money and I'm arrest some more folks. I'm gonna pay you back. I'm gonna give you some knowledge on ranches and horses. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, gonna take you out camping one weekend and we can spend some time together and fish and other manly masculine activities. Mm -hmm. You see, when I look at you, right. I see a man with great tips. You take care of yourself. I'll protect you out there. Don't you worry. Anyway, Cornwood, <laughs> you got the application for them, right? Uh, no, I, I want you to give it to them. All right, give me a call. Give me a, you know what? I'll just write this stuff down and do it, do it after. I'll sit here and listen to this. All right, sure. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to Yo, give me with the primer. Thank you so much, man. Show some love, chat. <laughs> What's your name again? Tortilla. We, no, Tortilla, that's the, that was the leader of the SDSO, bro. My name is Mr. Worldwide. Can I see your ID one more time? Okay, Picadillo. Picadillo, my friend. I mean, sorry, yes, yeah, Picadillo. Picadillo. Picadillo, you're right, Mr. Conrad, I'm sorry. Okay, wait, Picadillo? Listen, listen, you gonna call me whatever you want. Anyway, uh, okay, can you explain a few things for me? I'm seeing this how you're an officer with uh, some experience. Okay, okay. I want to make sure you know, you know, what the hell you're talking about. Can you, for me, explain uh, what's the difference between reasonable, reasonable suspicion and probable cause? <laughs> okay, reasonable suspicion is when you don't have enough to arrest somebody, but you have enough suspicion to ask questions, detain, uh, you know, uh, what's it called, power for weapon, for example. And you can get that. Like, for example, if somebody calls 911 and say, I said it, there's somebody here with gun. This is his description. Okay. Then you have the suspicion, okay, enough to detain the person and speak to them and pat them down. Now, probable cause is when, like, for example, you see somebody selling drugs. You know, that's more than suspicion because you saw that she bro. It was like, ay, mi madre, he's selling cocaine to kids. I saw it happen. I got a picture. Arrest this on bitch. You uh -huh. see that probable cause, I said it. Yeah, so probable cause is when you have 100%, like beyond a reasonable doubt, like, hey, I saw this shit happen. We have hard evidence, all that. Exactly, and, bro. Uh, there you go. And reasonable suspicion, excuse me, reasonable suspicion is, uh, is, yeah, just that. It's like you're getting a call in. Somebody said, hey, there's some shit going down here. And it gives you enough reason to investigate because you don't want to go up and, and just harass people for no reason and start shaking people down. Right? Exactly. Like, we don't, we don't do See, shit. mi amigo. So, pitch them. Uh -huh. So, well, that was good. That was good, actually. That was a good, uh, good answer.
Thank you, my now, friend. Uh, I'm going to throw a scenario your way. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm going to be a little bit harder on you because okay. you say you have some experience, right? Okay, yes, I have experience, but to be fair, it's been like two years, okay? But yes, I have experience, I'm, yes. Okay. So somebody gives a somebody gives a call, right? Hey, I heard gunshots out here. I'm sitting at home, you know. I'm I'm sitting here on the south side. I heard people screaming outside. Hey, there's a guy shooting shooting up shit at Forum Drive. You know, I'm calling the police. Can y'all go check it out? I'm I'm worried somebody might be shot or hurt or something happened. So you roll up to the scene. Well, you guys saying you minus one? You see, oh, hold on. you roll up to the scene. You see, uh. Two women, you see a man, you see... Are they attractive? They call uh, that's good. One is, one isn't. 20 of is. And the other oh, one wait. is, is, is uh, she has a dog. Okay. And, and there is a car, there is a car over I'm to the side. have to shoot that dog. Okay. okay good answer, good answer. Because that dog, well, I mean, you have to frisk the dog first, see if he has a gun, but, you know, you know. Oh my God! Seven anyway, years, chat. Oh my God. Uh, there's a car over there on the side. Windows are broken. There's a door. The door is missing, actually. Okay. Okay. And uh, it's smoking a little bit. Okay. And Ooh. that's it. That's all you need. <laughs> what do you do? Okay. If the people are on the scene of the call, right where gunshot were fired, everybody is getting the thing, and everybody getting GSR. I said it. Okay. So we detain okay. everybody. If the dog try to attack us, that motherfucker getting killed. Okay. Okay. We GSR detain the dog. We GSR the dog. You never know. Okay, some listen. Some people you never know nowadays, bro. Some people be dressing like dog. They, they, it's like a costume. You never know. They could be inside uh -huh. of a dog costume. What if they started shooting? What if they yeah. started shooting? <laughs> right. exactly. We GSR the dog. We GSR the people. We detain them. Okay. And uh, okay. we checked the car for tampering. Okay, why did you check the car for tampering? Is the car illegally parked or not? Yes. Okay, is there bullet holes in the car? No. But it's illegally parked? Yes. Okay, does the car come back to one of the people that we detained on scene? You're running the plate and you want to see if it came back? Yes, does they come back to one of the people on the scene? No. Okay, then we just tow the car for illegally parking. We don't we don't check, right? Because it's not involved. Car car, car is flagged 1060. I don't know what 1060 is. Uh, I forgot. Stolen. stolen. Yeah, it's flagged as stolen. It's flagged as stolen? Mm. Well, no. If the vehicle is stolen, we search it. We impound it. Oh no! Do you do that? But do you do that because it's stolen, or do you do that because it's parked illegally and, and uh, because it's stolen? <laughs> you're gonna search car. If a car is parked illegally, you're gonna search it. Well, if it's parked illegally, you can tow it. Right? You can tow it. <laughs> so what do you do if you tow it? Can you search it every time you tow a vehicle, even if it's illegally parked? You should, because what if there's a bomb or some shit in there? And it ends up going to the tow line. Okay, that's cool. I, sorry, I forgot. Okay, okay. So even if, so if it's just illegal parking, you gotta search it before you tow it. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Yo, thank you guys for the get the subs. Woo! Holy fuck, chat! I can't even focus right now because you guys are all just mean? spamming me with subs. What does that mean for the people there at the scene? That car. Bueno, if we didn't see the people inside, we oh, first of all, we question them, right? Oh, yeah, well, that's uh -huh. your car, you know, or you want one of you driving that. If everybody says no, and we have no proof that they wasn't in the car, they wasn't using it, you know, we cannot, uh -huh. we cannot charge them with that because we cannot prove it. There you go. So you don't know that they were ever had anything to do with the car. It could be completely random, whatever. So you can't charge anybody with it. Good I answer. can't lock in when you guys are just spamming me. Even if it's flagged or stolen. You guys you are just spamming no, me. No, uh, 
if you have no reason to believe and i mean not even you have no reason to believe you have no proof of them actually having anything to do with that car you can't charge anyone for it it just happens to be a random car at the scene i was just throwing that in there for the sake of seeing if i could throw you off yeah so, do, yeah i mean I know, answer, yeah actually. i know we can't charge them but i i forgot about the doing part to be honest man it's be i didn't throw that many vehicles to be honest yeah so here's something else <clears throat> you have a car that's illegally parked and it's sitting there it's beat up whatever it's illegally parked Thank you guys so much for the bits. Stolen. What do you do? If it's illegally parked. Authorized park parking citation. Well, no. What is what? What do you do as a person? Like, what is what is what would you do in that situation? As a police not, officer, not, or like, what you mean? What is your using your own personal discretion? You find a personal vehicle. It is not flagged as stolen. It is it is parked illegally. It is beat up, beat to shit, whatever. Okay. What do you do? If the person is there, I give them citation. I could give them or either warning or citation. Person's not there. Person's, Person's not, there. not there. Okay, well, then I can tow the vehicle. And like you said, I, I can search it because it's illegally parked. And That's you what you can do. That's what you can do. But would you, would you do that? Yes or no and why? I feel like it depends on who it comes back to, to be honest. Why would that okay. be a matter? I can yeah, tell why, you why right now. Matter? I can tell you right now. I said it. If I search the plate and it's some piece of shit that shoot cops every day, that motherfucker getting told. Now, if I search it and it's a good guy that goes to church. So you're going to show inherent bias in the field. It's not. It's service police, police officer discretion. I said it. Police officer discretion. I mean, look. The at the end of the day, that's right. That is officer discretion. I'm just curious. To, I'm trying illegal. to get a temperature. Well, I'm trying to get a temperature check on you. Well, it ain't illegal if he's if he's acting within the law. It ain't illegal. If he went in the court of law and said, "I saw it was his car, so I decided to do this instead of doing that," that would be okay. But why would I say that in the court of law, my friend? Of service. Well, if if that is the sole that would reason be targeted it, harassment. If that is the sole reason for doing it, yes. But if it's if it's parked if it's parked illegally, this guy's setting me up. Mango, thank you for the get the subs. Thank you guys for the biz illegally. chat. Level five hype train, fifteen percent. Thank you, you guys so much. Now I think you'd be a piece of shit for it. Now again, it depends, right? If it's it's something that's like part of an ongoing investigation or something, that's that's maybe one thing. But let's say <clears> it's somebody <throat> you don't know. Well, I mean. If it's somebody that you know, I mean, you don't have, I mean, you said you ha you don't have to do it, right? Is that what you said? You don't have to. I Bro, mean, if it's illegally part, you can't just leave it there, can you? Well, what I would mean, you do? You could. I mean, you could do whatever you want. <laughs> oh, okay, what would you do, Mr. Kong? What I would do, I would check the plate. Plate, is it stolen? It's not stolen. Plate doesn't come back to anybody there. I asked the guys over there, hey, were any of y'all driving this? Yes, no, maybe, whatever. They all say no. I go, I check the car for signs of tampering. Even if it's not flagged yet, I check, is there, let, let's take a look at that keyhole, whatever. Is this, is this beat to shit or whatever? Uh, no, there ain't no signs of tampering. Okay. I see that plate number. I see who the RO is. I see, I see who the registered owner of that vehicle is. I try and, I try and call him up. Yo, Slash, thank him. you for the 300 bits. You know, if it's somebody, he, he ain't got no record. He's not part of some active investigation. I have no reason to believe that this thing was used in a crime. Uh, Look, I might tow it if it's parked in a place that's causing an inconvenience to people. But more than likely, what I would do under my own discretion, I'd find out who it is. I'd give him a call and say, <clears> hey. <throat> Uh, found your car here. Is everything okay? You know, just making sure before I tow it, because you know your car is beat to shit. I don't know if somebody came up. Yeah, this isn't an this isn't a to the side, interview. It's an application. You know, you, a, you know what I mean? Because they might have had their car parked legally. Even now, that's me going okay. a, going out of my way. That's not something you have to do, but that's what I personally would do. Oh, okay. Yes, that's good. Yeah. But, do I just, answer or do I just wait for my turn to answer? questions there mr cornwood no you know, i got different questions for you 
perfect sounds like a plan i like a cow smurfing right now the thick mm. man like yourself oh absolutely Yo, thank you guys for the 12 subs and the 2,500 bits, chat. Thank you guys so much, man. I love you guys. So, uh... Um, thank you guys for... Fat Boy Fresh, thank you for yeah, the gifted. I mean, I think, you got, I think you got a little bit to learn, but I mean, I, I think as far as the on-paper reasoning goes for doing the shit that you gotta do, I think, uh... Kappa train, chat. Golden Kappa. Here, I'll tell you right now. The way that I operate is we can teach you shit. Um, but we can't teach... We can't change who you are. That's just the reality of it. If, if you come in here and you operate a certain type of way, ain't nobody changing how you are. You are the way that you are. You are who you are, and that's just what it is, okay? And and you can try. Hell, they've tried with me. I mean, to be fair, they've done a pretty damn good job with me. And, and, uh, and, <clears throat> anyway, it's, it's a different story. <laughs> anyway, um, it's hard as shit to change who you are. But it's pretty damn easy as long as you can learn to teach someone something. Oh, you guys saying Kappa? So, I will say this. I think you got a good head on your shoulders. I, I think we need someone in the department that can probably speak Cubish and translate. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, hell, I, you know, we, obviously we got to go through a, a more rigorous interview process and get your application, all that shit in. Did, uh, did Duncan get your info? Uh, see, I gave him my ID, my phone number, and everything. So, see, I gave him all my information. Uh huh. Well, good. Good to hear. I'm glad to hear that. So, uh, so yeah, let's. Uh, I mean, we'll get back to you on that for sure. Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, just to uh, clarify, my friend, Mr. Conwood, this was a not the interview. This was like the application, right? This is like a pre-interview. Okay. If you don't if you don't pass my temperature check, then then we're gonna take your two twenty five hundred dollars and throw it in the trash. Okay. So Always I just gotta, gotta make sure the meat's at the perfect temperature. Oh, oh, Mr. Right. Mr. Congo, thank you so much, my friend. So this uh, just to make sure I just gotta wait for a reply, right? My phone you got my phone number? Yeah, yeah, you'll get an answer in uh one to two weeks. Yeah, let me get your number as well. Okay. Here you go, my friend. Dale, 420-241-8938. I'm sorry, I got behind. Uh, one more time. Okay, dale. 420-241-8938. One to two weeks. I got that right there. Appreciate it. Okay, my friend, if you gonna give me this so I can say your number two. Come on in here. There, you go. Oh. there it is. Okay, perfect. Come on, already hit. Let's just, just come over on this side. Wait, he got, got hot. Over here. Wait, he got hired back. Howdy. Wait, Johnson's back? Okay. I got your number, my friend. I got you safe. Is there anything else you need from me or no? Uh, okay. Uh, no. I think we're good to go. Okay, muchas gracias, Mr. Conway. Mm -hmm. Listen, for your time, I got you a present, my friend. What was that? I got you some food, bro. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm sure you know. I'm sure you're hungry here, working a day. You know, you need breaks on time. Get you a little yeah. sneaker. You know, all that. Muchas gracias. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, well, thank you for your time. Uh, if you need anything from me, just give me a call, okay? Okay. Now, Dale. what did you just do? What you say? You know what bribery is? I said it. I'm not bribing you. I'm just giving you food because you are a good guy. That's not bribery, my friend. No, you're bribery not. If it is like if I expected something out of giving you something. I don't expect nothing from that. I'm just giving it to you out of the kindness from my heart. Uh-huh. Yes, my good friend. Good answer. All right, my friend. Okay, well, good shit. All right, now for you, uh, Sawyer, right? Dylan Sawyer. Call K, bro. I'm really on a different character. What do you mean, Call K? Your name. That is my name. Okay. Dylan Sawyer. Oh, what you mean? Okay. What you mean, Call K, bro? I'm really on a Dylan, whole different where, character. Where'd you come? You said Montana. <clears throat> Brokeback, Montana. 
Uh -huh. On Dana. I used to work for my daddy at yep. the sheriff's yep. office as a deputy under him. He oh, died. really? Okay, so you got some experience too. Tragic ranching accident. Really? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? Wait, this isn't Peanut? Oh my god. Cal got out of the stall. And my father approached that cow. And that cow jumped on him. Wait, I, I, I don't have to sit through here, do I? Mm. He just got... He just got mauled right then and there by a, by a rabid cow. My favorite cow. She turned on my father. And then I had to put her down. Mm. I lost my favorite cow and my daddy that day. Woo! Okay, Mr. Cole, we'll take it easy, eh? Right <laughs> no way, Mr. Worldwide. Mm. I said, yeah, I, I can let you go if you want to check it out. That's, that's a little check it out, my friend. Sorry, I gotta make some money, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Take it easy, Mr. Conwood. Thank you for the interview. Uh, absolutely. All right. Call Hazel, call Pina, call... But well, you guys want to call everybody. I right, chat, do you guys think that went well or no? What do you guys think, chat? Uh, I need to go change characters. I think we're going to switch back to Pina. You guys, chat, everybody... For everyone that hasn't seen the character before, Mr. Worldwide, do you guys... You guys like the character or nah? Better than I expected? What the fuck? Better than you expected? You guys like this shit or no? I haven't seen him. I dig it. Hell yeah. Thank you guys, chat. Let's go switch characters. Wait, do I gotta switch? Do I gotta run all the way back to the apartments?